Hello everyone. Many of you were interested in my aluminum melting setup, so I decided to make a video about it. Let's start with the oil container. It has an on off valve, and the valve regulates the oil flow. Next is the waste oil burner. I made it after watching videos from the oil burner YouTube channel. The link will be in the description. The design is pretty simple. Air and oil go in from the side and flames come out the nozzle. The hook is there so the burner could be attached to the furnace. For my air supply I'm using a modified leaf blower. The furnace is made from a water tank. I cut it to size and lined it with concrete. But I wouldn't recommend using concrete because it doesn't hold up against the heat and crumbles more after every use. The crucible is made from a piece of steel pipe. I welded on a bottom and a spout to make pouring easier. I also welded two bolts to the sides of the crucible so I could lift it in and out the furnace and also so I could attach the pouring handle. The ingot molds are made from a U-profile steel beam. I cut the beam to size and welded on the ends. The ingot mold holder is made so the molds could be easily removed to be preheated on the furnace. To start the waste oil burner, it needs to be preheated. I preheat my burner by burning some wood scraps in it. Add the air supply. When the burner is hot, hook it on the furnace. Add the oil line and slowly start adding oil to the burner. And now the melting can begin. Heat the dross skimmer that prevents the aluminum from sticking to it. Holder so that the hot aluminum ingots could fall on a shelf where they could cool down. All in all, this is a very simple and easy to make setup. It might not be the most efficient setup, but it works. I hope my video helps those who want to make a similar aluminum melting setup. And thanks for watching.